Welcome to episode two of Tiny Little Very Beginner's Guide to Making Leaded Gloss Ornaments. And in this second part, I'm going to show you a really easy cheat way to cement it. And when we say cement it, what we mean is we rub a goo between the glass and the lead that if this was a window would keep the water out. So instead of buying the proprietary cement, which you get at stained glass shops and is black, we're going to use ordinary glazes putty, which as you know is putty coloured. Um, I get mine in a tube because I prefer the consistency, but you might be more familiar with the type that comes in a tub. Um, this has all gone solid, so I'm just going to work without the nozzle on. So, we're going to squeeze a bit of that in there. We don't need that much. Then we're going to put a bit of black in. Oh, more black than we need there. Don't know my own strength. Doesn't really matter. And then we're going to mix it up. Yeah, that's really a lot of black. <laughs> okay, well, you can be more careful than me. Okay, so there it is, all nice and mixed up. So that's basically just black putty now. And we're going to smear it on and scrub. And it's going to push it. I'm going to take these off because they're my nice gloves. And I've warmed up a bit now. So there we are. Now what you would normally do at this stage is you would take some whiting which is essentially like chalk dust and you would use that to clean up your glass and it does do the job really nicely. But I'm going to assume you are trying to save as much money as possible on everything and you haven't got any. So we're just going to clean it up in a very low tech way. So there we are. Do the other side now. And I'm just doing a circular motion, approaching all the different edges in every which direction I can, because that will ensure it's gone under the lead and up against the glass. So I'll just get a bit more towel. It's very mucky, this black stuff. So, it's very quick on a small piece to, the, to do this leading. Now, the last thing you do after you've scrubbed the lead in and cleaned the, uh, sorry, scrubbed the cement in and then cleaned it off, is scrub it. Scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. That cleans up the glass darkens the lead. And when you do a window, um, finishing it nicely will really help the end look. So you want to spend a bit of time at this point, scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. Basically until you're happy with the finish. I've actually got a machine for doing this, so I don't do it very often by hand, and I forget how tiring it is. Um, and the machine I've got is a floor polisher, circa 1960. Then, if you want a slightly better finish, you can put some of this lovely black 
grate polish on, which is the stuff I used to darken up the putty. Yeah. This will give it its final polish. You can of course leave the lead bright if you want to, don't have to take it down to black, it's entirely your choice. I'm going to get a softer brush for the final polish. This is actually a clothes brush. It's better if you leave this black till it's dried or dried off a bit. A bit like the shoe polish really. Otherwise you take it off when you polish it. You can see it's starting to get that nice bloom that stained glass lead gets. You want to probably give it, when it's completely dried, as in when the black is completely dried, um, you could hold it up to the light and just check that you haven't got any of the black grape polish actually on the glass. But there it is. A little ornament for a beginner and I really hope that you enjoy making it and that you will be encouraged to do more glass more leaded glass and join me for the slightly more advanced tutorial where I'm going to be making this so thank you for watching I hope you found it helpful and I'll put a load of links to other videos I've done which might help you, especially cutting glass. Um, and um, yes, uh, enjoy and please like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of when I post which is every Tuesday and Friday.